Are you new to Needham? Then maybe you didn't know that the recycling transfer station does more than just take your trash and recyclables. We met with Superintendent Greg Smith to find out all about the different functions of Needham's recycling transfer station. He also shares with us important tips when recycling, what not to recycle, and other amenities available at the RTS for Needham residents. When you move to town, uh, you, one of the questions you're going to ask yourself is how do I get rid of my trash and recycle my recyclables? And you have a couple of different options. One of those options is you can come to the Need and Recycling Transfer Station at 1421 Central Avenue and you can recycle all of your household commodities and get rid of your trash. Needham is a pay use throw community and what that means is that if you elect to come to the transfer station to get rid of your trash, you are required to purchase special yellow bags at local stores here in town that your trash would go into before you can bring it to the transfer station for disposal. You are going to be required to get a sticker for your passenger vehicle or your truck. Mm -hmm. You need to pick those up at the town hall at the treasurer's office. There's no cost if you're a resident, however you are required to have them and you would put them on the lower left hand side of your windshield and that just identifies you as a Needham resident and that allows you to enter the facility uh, to drop off your trash and recycling. Your recyclables, uh, which are your traditional recyclables, your glass, your plastics, your steel and tin cans, your cardboard, and your paper, those products can also be brought to the transfer station for recycling. One of the things that we ask you to do is be cognizant of what you are placing into our containers. So if you are bringing your glass, your plastics, your steel and tin cans, what we call commingled, when you're at home, pay some attention to how you prepare them before you bring them to the transfer station. One of the things that we'd ask you to do is to rinse out your containers thoroughly. So if you're opening a can of tuna fish or if you're finishing up a container of mayonnaise or peanut butter, you don't have to put them in the dishwasher, but rinse them out with some hot water so you can get the balance of the, of the residues out of there. Because if you don't and you place those into the container that has the um, potential to draw bees, uh, even skunks and raccoons to the containers and that presents a health hazard to the public. So we really ask you to be conscious about that. You'll see when you come to the transfer station that we have signage everywhere that asks that you not place any plastic containers into the commingled or the paper or the cardboard containers. And by plastic we mean principally shopping bags. Now uh, you'll get them from Stop and Shop, Roach Brothers, Whole Foods, and sometimes those bags will have a recycling symbol on them indicating that they can be recycled. Here in Needham, any kind of plastic bag, plastic wrap, shrink wrap, the pillows, the clear plastic pillows that you get in your UPS or your FedEx boxes, all of those are considered trash and we ask that they not be put into those containers. The last thing I would say about contamination is everyone wants to be a good steward of the environment. However, if you're not sure about a certain container and where it should go, or if it's recyclable, I would say when in doubt, throw it out. And while that may not seem like the right thing to do, uh, here in Needham, that is the way that we ask people to assist us in minimizing contamination in our containers. All transfer facilities, like the one in Needham, are required to comply with the Department of Environmental Protection's waste ban item list. That list can be found on the DEP website, but just to help you understand, there are many items that you use in your home on a daily basis that cannot be thrown out in the waste stream because they are environmentally hazardous. Some examples of those would be what we call CRTs, which are cathode radio tubes found in your television sets. Fluorescent light tubes, like you'll have in your home uh, or in your office, those uh, tubes have mercury powder in them and are very, very hazardous to the environment, so those must be recycled. Um, uh, other more common items would be some of the batteries that are found in your watches. Uh, those lithium ion batteries, they're in your phones as well. They should not be thrown out into the trash because again, our trash is burned at a waste to energy plant in Millbury and uh, that's a hazard if they are burned. Um, so we want them recycled. Um, we offer that service here at the transfer station. So if you're a resident of Needham and you have something that you feel is not quite ready yet to be uh, thrown out or given to the Goodwill trailer for donation, you can bring it to the swap shop, they take a whole range of goods and the people who man the swap shop will assist you in taking things out of your car, looking them over and determining uh, whether they can be dropped off uh, for reuse. Um, so we encourage you to come down, take a look at what we have to offer and if you feel there are things you can drop off that other people would want to reuse, um, we encourage you to do that. 
for further information, uh, I would direct you to the town's website, which is www.needhamma.gov backslash RTS. We'll provide you with a lot of information uh, about what we've talked about here today and many other uh, items of interest.